On square 16, the king's robes, you are instructed to add some embroidery to the completed square using chain stitch. I'm going to demonstrate this using a blank, a cream coloured sample so that it's, so I can show you more clearly where the needle goes through the work to create the chain stitches. So you must use the chart as a guide for your embroidering. Each little circle is embroidered separately. So to begin, we bring the needle through the work, leaving a short tail at the back. And then the first stitch, for the first stitch, I'm going to come in, take the needle back in at the base, where the yarn is coming up through the work, being careful not to split it. And I'm taking the needle out at a slight angle for the first stitch. I'm then taking the needle in to the same gap where the yarn is coming out of the work. And I'm taking it up the work to create the second chain stitch. Moving on to the third chain stitch, go back into that same gap, trying to make sure the blunt needle that I am not snagging the work. And I'm going to come across at an angle again. There, trying to create this, this circular shape. In again to the work. And I'm going to go across. Turning the knitting round as I'm working round in the circular shape. Going back into the same gap again. It can be a bit difficult to, to actually see. The yarn's quite bulky. But if you just try and make sure that you're using the needle to kind of feel where you are going through the work, making sure you're not splitting anything, you should be absolutely fine. So I'm pulling that around to make this circular shape as I'm working. Back into the same gap. I'm doing this more by feel rather than by um, sight. I'm feeling with the needle that it's going cleanly through. I'm turning the work as I go to try and make sure I'm trying to get that circular shape as round as I possibly can. And for the very last stitch, I'm going to just slide the needle under the first two legs of the very first chain stitch. And then go back down through where the yarn came up through the middle of the last chain stitch there. Pull very gently on the two ends at the back there just to close the circle up. And that's one circle completed.